I don't know if you guys have ever ever uh, done this, but sometimes you can just you can almost sort of even though these guys write great dialogue and they produce an amazing picture, you can kind of close your eyes and just listen to the music of Avatar. Yeah. incredible duo that uh, produce all of the, the music and are the sound designers for the entire series. The track team, Ben Wynn and Jim um, The staff is, of course, from Avatar The Last Airbender yeah. and hopefully coming up with Avatar Legend of Korra. And <laughs> Both um, Jeremy and Ben are my most favourite musicians. They took over Lincoln Park. That's that's Whoa. a big thing. <laughs> screw you, Lincoln Park. Yeah. Screw you, Lincoln Park. Yeah. <laughs> and, it is. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty good at really it. Really cool. <laughs> and, so they're signing um, their I name. I like them to sign at the base of it because they're like they said in their um, in the panel this morning. The music is the foundation of the character. Without the music, you don't have a character. Not in animation or in. TV and you guys are such an inspiration and I'm just really happy to meet you guys. So thank you so much. So So I'm going to turn it over to them to kind of describe the new sound uh, and then what they're working on right now. First off, I just want to say wow. <laughs> I, I, I'm incredibly humbled to be on the stage with all you guys. And I don't feel like I deserve it, so thank you. You deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's so well. Um, yeah, we're just starting, so it's really early, so don't hold anything against us that we're going to say. Um, we're going to let you in on some basic uh, concepts. Brian uh, came to us with this really cool idea of, of course, you know, in true Brian, in his fashion, it's really, really difficult. Um, <laughs> he said, what would it sound like if uh, in the 20s, the Chinese were inventing jazz, something to that effect, maybe nine years ago. <laughs> so yeah, so this is, we're, we're gonna have to invent a style that's basically if the Chinese were inventing jazz. New Orleans jazz in China in the 20s. <laughs> that's the first part of the, uh, the musical recipe. And then the next part is the more traditional elements. We're, we're gonna explore those a little more deeply in this, uh, in this series, which is really exciting. Um, we found an incredible musician, this Chinese musician who plays like uh, 30 Chinese instruments beautifully. Um, wind instruments, percussion, string instruments, all this stuff. Um, so we're getting pretty into that stuff as well. Um, and then there's going to be a Western element of the string quartet, um, probably not as grandiose um, orchestral as the first one, but that's what we said the first time around. So who knows if we're going to be able to stick that or not? But that's the idea. Um, well, we're going to so, save it for you know like special. Right, moments. it'll be special moments, so it'll be a little more dynamic. That's the idea, and it's, you know, so far things are, are starting to sound pretty cool, um, and we're just we're just really excited to sort of approach it from a little more of a, a mature angle. Um, not like the music wasn't. I don't, you know, I think I don't think it was children's music necessarily uh, stylistically. Not there's anything wrong with that, but you know, the music was definitely, um, you know, its own thing in, in the last Airbender, um, and so we're gonna have respect for that early stuff, and we're gonna treat it as uh, its musical history. You know, and it's like it's source, it's sort of source material that we're going to explore as well. So we have a lot of elements to work with. Um, we're definitely, you know, if we're going to be out of ideas, that'll, yeah. that'll be our fault. Plus, so, you know, it's been a few years since we wrapped in 2008, and Ben and Jeremy have been working on a bunch of stuff, and they're, I mean, they were amazing then, but their skills mm -hmm. are, uh, have just grown, and, and I can't wait to hear what, you know, the sound design, you know, is, is going to be incredible. And, even their company is growing. I mean, they, they used to do everything themselves, and they're they're in such demand doing the music for Kung Fu Panda and uh, the TV series on Nickelodeon. And, um, uh, yeah. So, any thoughts on the sound? Well, I was just going to say, um, you know, seeing these visuals and the story, it's it's definitely it's it's been stepped up even from Avatar. It's a little it's more sophisticated. It's a little bit more adult. Uh, th there's there's more details, so we're gonna have to step it up as well. And guys, we really need your, your continued help trying to get that soundtrack released. Uh, we need you to tell Nickelodeon you'd buy the dang thing if we put it out. 